When populations flee their homes, whether within or across international borders, beyond the immediate humanitarian needs, social, environmental and economic vulnerabilities can emerge, including those that predate or contributed to the crisis. Newcomers can place strains on local resources and may face hostility from the resident population. Economies and livelihoods can stagnate or collapse and criminals or armed groups can exploit an insecure environment. As a result of one or more of these factors, affected areas can face acute instability, leaving populations in a cycle of crisis and reliance on humanitarian aid. Improving stability by addressing social tensions and weaknesses in livelihoods and infrastructure can play a critical role in laying foundations for sustainable recovery and solving displacement. IOM has over 20 years of experience implementing community stabilization programming, with around 180 programs running in over 50 countries at any one time. Our teams work with governments, community leaders, civil society and crisis-affected individuals in areas affected by forced displacement or large-scale irregular migration. We define stabilization as the creation of the necessary conditions for functioning, non-violent, social, economic and political life. Programs are developed on the ground to address specific drivers of instability in complex crisis or post-crisis contexts to provide a foundation for longer-term recovery and development. They use multiple sectors simultaneously to respond to problems identified by in-depth area-based analysis. Communities, whether in urban or rural settings, are at the center of IOM stabilization work because they are the most important resource for improving stability and establishing resilience to destabilizing influences. They understand their own needs and have a real interest in addressing the factors driving instability and creating the conditions for rebuilding their lives. Crisis, particularly as a result of armed conflict, can fragment communities. So IOM's programs focus on supporting an inclusive and community-owned process. In crisis-affected areas, getting citizens to work together as a community and with their local government is as important a part of recovery as physical improvements such as health or livelihoods. Situations can change quickly in post-crisis environments, so programs need to be flexible. They also need to innovate and take advantage of opportunities for catalytic change for example, through radio broadcasts or SMS mass communication. IOM's community stabilization programs leverage the work of multiple sectors to achieve greater stability gains. For example, promoting positive community relations through peace dialogues or community support and cultural activities. Strengthening livelihoods and local markets through support for small businesses, skills training and community markets construction and rehabilitation of housing and community infrastructure, rebuilding the capacity of local government to provide basic services and improving accountability and relationships with citizens, and improving access to information. Remember that IOM's community stabilization programs offer populations a way out of fragility and crisis by building bonds within the community, including with their leadership. These bonds are the product. Restoring these social bonds, cooperation and peaceful coexistence may not solve displacement crises, but it is an essential step towards longer-term recovery.